Today we're going to walk through how to install this heat pump ventless dryer. And the first thing I want to do is install the drain hose. All LG heat pump dryers have a drain hose that needs to be installed. Since there is no vent in these dryers, the water gets pumped out through this hose. Take the provided hose clamp and using needle nose pliers, put it over the drain hose. This is where you will install the drain hose. And this is where you will not install the drain hose. Do not install the hose on this valve. Make sure to install it on the drain hose valve. Remove the cover and install the drain hose. Using the clamp, secure it and make sure that it doesn't move. Next, remove the access panel in the upper right corner of the dryer to install the dryer power cord. I'm going to remove this white neutral wire since I'm installing a four wire power cord but if you're installing a three wire cord, you can just leave it there in place of the ground. Now remove all three screws and be careful not to drop them inside the dryer. I have to install a strain relief for the cord, so I chose one shaped like this, which is easier to install for this particular dryer. I can kind of lay it inside the hole like this and then push them together. I'm also gonna install this vertically because it's too long to go horizontal. It's easier to install this type of strain relief than others that have a backing where you have to put your hand in the dryer and screw it in. I'm gonna keep it loose for now so it's easier to get the core through and then I'm gonna tighten everything when I'm finished. I like to go in order when doing the wiring. So first I screw in the green ground wire, then the black wire. Next I take both white neutral wires, the one that came with the cord and the one that was on the dryer and put them in the middle. And last I screw in the red wire. At the end, it should look like this. If you want to double check your wiring, the dryer has a label on the back with a diagram for a three or four wire installation. Tighten the strain relief so the cord is secure and reinstall the access cover. Put the power cord and drain hose on top of the dryer, and then you want to move the dryer as close as you can, but leaving yourself enough room on the sides to level. It's much easier to level the dryer if you have another person who can help tilt the back of the unit. This allows me to easily loosen the feet using a wrench and then adjust the feet with my hands. I want to make sure to level the unit on all four sides. At this point, I like to insert the drain hose into the elbow bracket. This makes it easier to drop in the drain after we push the dryer into place, leaving four inches or less of hose coming out the end. Now plug in the dryer and let's push it next to the washer. Take the elbow bracket and place it in the drain. Cable tie the water lines, the washer drain hose, and dryer drain hoses together so that they're secure. Do a double check on the level and adjust if necessary. 